I'm not interested in working with someone who can just talk the talk. I need someone who can walk the talk. So your commitment to your game and your craft needs to be all encompassing. It can't be, I'm gonna be a business coach like I am at $20,000 a month, but I'm doing it part time because I've got six kids and I've got a life and I want it. No, it's kind of got to be obsessive. Like your bookcase better be groaning with books. You better have studied all the programs. You will then do it. But to kind of, and I'm not saying you are, but a lot of what I see is people kind of standing back saying, oh, I wonder if I can do that. And they kind of have my book, DL, and that's it. I'm like, well, no, you don't have, you're not showing the commitment. It's got to be your passion. What do you buy? What do you invest in? What do you study? In your spare time, what are you doing? We'll tell you your future. So if in your spare time you're on the TV, and I'm not saying you are, but it's what I hear a lot, well, there's your future, not leadership coaching. But if you're anything like me, my spare time was obsessed with leadership books, leadership courses, and then coaching, how to coach better. You know, I studied everything in coaching I could find in the world. This is almost pre-online courses. I just traveled around the world doing it. Where your obsession goes is where the money will flow. That's it. And so, and, but it's also, this is really key guys, this is for you and everyone else. Are you a consumer or are you an investor? Do you want to just hear that? So are you a consumer or are you the investor? So you can make it in any niche, but it's just got to be, are you just consuming products on it or you're investing in them so you can do better at it? So have an investor attitude and they will hire you. But if you're just a consumer, so you might have bought my DL book and you read the book, and I'm not saying this is you, I'm giving you like metaphors to, to help you relate to what I'm saying, you're not doing the yards. But if you've got the course, you've invested in it, you've worked out how to do it, and you're offering it to others and you're selling it, you are now an investor. You've moved to the wealth leverage stakes. There's a difference between consumers and investors, guys. So make sure you're an investor and you can go into that niche. But if you're just a consumer because you're trying to solve the problem, you're not ready to lead the niche.